Okay, so why, um, what, 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 what does no say to our dog? So he doesn't come pre-programmed um, with, uh, um, <laughs> with behaviours. He doesn't come pre-programmed knowing um, what any of these words mean. So we have to teach him, okay? Now, what we learn when we're children is that when we're told no, it means stop doing that or else. That's what no means. That's what no always means. It means stop doing that or there will be a sanction, okay? And that sanction is je is is always unpleasant, okay? It has to be unpleasant uh, or it wouldn't work, okay? So that's what no means to your dog when you teach them no, if it works, okay? And that's if it works. And very often it doesn't work. Very often what no teaches the dog is do more of what you are doing, okay? And I've seen that repeatedly. So no means... Uh, if you don't stop doing this, there will be a sanction which is uncomfortable, unpleasant, annoying, or painful enough that you want to avoid that, okay? And if, it's, if saying no is done properly, okay, you are linking that with you at each time you say no to your dog. So your dog is learning every single time that you say no that you are either going to or uh, um, willing to. Uh, prevent, sorry, um, follow through with that sanction of saying no, okay? So just now, I could start saying to him, because he's, he's um, because we've been filming this video and we've not been playing since we came in here, I could start saying, no, no, leave it, leave it, no, no, leave it, leave it, okay? Now, uh, and it wouldn't make any difference to him anyway, okay? Now, what I've taught him is that, um, can I have one of these toys back, okay? And because I've taught him this without ever saying no, then he has confidence that that's never going to be unpleasant when I go in towards him there, okay? It's always going to be a pleasant experience, okay? And I also recognise that when he does get that way, when he gets kind of antsy and wants to kind of hold on to these things, um, that... Uh, what purpose would it serve for me to give him a further hard time when he's already feeling kind of not great anyway, okay? So you can see this here, okay? This is not playfulness, okay? That's not, because I know my dog, okay? This is not playfulness. This is kind of stressy behaviours that he's doing. Aye, yeah. <laughs> now, that's more relaxed, which I then acknowledge, okay? So I'm acknowledging all the good stuff, okay? And um, and letting let him feel the stuff that he is because um, he's got his, his own individual okay his own individual being and he's allowed to feel stuff okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask for one of them back okay so if I t put my hand on this okay and and he's not now he's ready for me to take it and now he's not. Okay, now I can easily, because I've built that the, the trust up with him, I can easily reach in there and take it. But I didn't do that at the start with him. Uh, I worked a lot on uh, getting him to trust me, okay? And none of that, you think about it, uh, none of uh, getting somebody, building trust with somebody is... Um, giving the person a hard time, okay, or the other being a hard time, that's, we can't, trust can't be built like that, okay, so um, that's that's the reason, one of the reasons I don't say no to him, he is my dog, he's a member of my family, why would I ever want to give him a hard time when I don't need to, okay, so, um, ah, right, now, now I can be a little bit more playful with him, <gasps> Logan, <gasps> what, <gasps> Daddy? Yeah, good boy. So you can see his left paw is, is tense on this, and then he's holding the other one. Now, you can't do this with both of them, okay, because it's, ch it's challenging for him. Okay, and then I'm just going to... Now, that was my invitation there, because when he moved back from them, okay, there we go. Okay, so see how he is letting me, okay. Now, the other thing that what happens with this is people start saying, so you let your dog dictate how you're going to behave around them, okay? So hopefully, hopefully, my ego is not that big that that bothers me, okay? It, my, I, I, 
that that's the least of my problems in my life that I'm being dictated to by my dog, okay? All I'm doing is asking for <laughs> a toy back, okay? And can I wait three or four... Hi, pal! Can I wait three or four seconds until he's ready, okay? Um, and I, I want to ask the question here is why can't I? Okay, what is so in me so in need of control of things in my life what is so lacking in control that I have to have my dog um, respond the second I ask him to do something when I don't need to okay and I'll talk about how we get our dog to respond to stuff when we need to uh, in the next video